Hello, reformers, and welcome back to A Clash of Kings 3.0. Now, when we left off, we were in a stalemate battle, and it really wasn't going very well. I mean, yes, they had the advantage and everything, but I, I basically decided just to retreat and to leave the Volantis area. As you see here, we are extremely far away from any civilization, basically, apart from Flint's Finger right here and the Haunted Tower, obviously, which we've already explored and I've been fighting raiders. I've actually been fighting raiders, and uh, yeah, they're actually kind of difficult, but usually they will have some really nice prisoners to rescue, as you see by these veteran and elite Westerlander units. Now, I have made a brief stopover at Carhold for the Longbowmen. They cost me, I think, 600 for four of them. Was it 600 or 800? Oh, uh, I think I may have forgotten now. But anyway, point is, it was quite expensive for what I currently have in my army. And I am I'm not entirely sure whether they're actually that good. I mean, yes, okay, they do have an amazing amount of iron flesh. And their power draw is very nice. But the armor they're wearing actually does reduce their power draw by two. So without that armor they would be hitting for amazing amounts of damage. Now, they do have 160 weapon proficiency. Maybe I'm a bit spoiled from other mods or something, but yes, I am actually... Can, can I can I take that off them? Can I actually take them off, take that off them? I don't think so. No, I can't. Oh, well, that would have been nice because I definitely would have done that. Otherwise, yeah. Anyway, they're a lot less deadly than they would have been without the armor, but it's okay. I have a bunch of Veil Archers as well, as well as Longbowmen to supplement the others, and I'm going to actually move them up a little bit. We also have some Westerlanders Longbowmen as well, so that's rather nice. And then, of course, we do have some more Veil Levies. I think I'm primarily going to have Veil slash Carhold units right now, but obviously I can't really choose at the moment. What I'm trying to do is just make back the money that I lost, make back as much money as possible, and then eventually maybe invest in the Iron Bank, or get a couple of Enterprises. Depends on what I'm able to do, basically. Because obviously, Bravos don't currently have access to that, as far as I'm aware, because, of course, we are at war against them. Now, I believe that Volantis has made peace with Tyrosh, so that's nice. That gives us a little bit more in right to rule. I have leveled up twice. My horse is now crippled. That's the reason why I'm not using it. But anyway, point is... I am very, very much hoping that I will not die here. Oh no. Okay, yeah, yep, no, no, yeah, yeah, okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're okay. And that's a lance. Whoa, that was... That was risky. Yes, you could say that was very, very risky because if that lance had not ge got, gotten blocked by my shield, I definitely would have bit the dust, I suppose you could say. Anyway, let's see if I can actually do some damage against these guys. Wow, we're actually able to defeat them relatively easily. Now, obviously, I have been fighting raider parties before, but usually they were a lot smaller than normal. So I'm just going to tell everyone to charge in, basically, because that's actually what I've been doing. And believe it or not, I've actually been able to get much more done in the battle than if I were to hold position and actually use tactics, hilariously enough. I, I don't know why that is. It could be just because this is very much a... Well, just a bandit fight, and it's not really necessary to employ tactics. But obviously, as you saw just there, we actually did lose a couple of our really, really good units. I mean, we lost one of everything and then two Westerlander men-at-arms. But on the flip side of that, we do now gain these Hedge Knights. Now, Hedge Knights are amazing, but as you can see by the weekly wage, they are kind of a bit too amazing, I think. But anyway, other than that, we are gaining some really, really nice units. And on top of that, we, of course, have a little bit of experience for our Veil units as well. So, yeah, there we go. Now, of course, we can take that. I've just been basically fighting raiders, getting their prisoners, getting the loot from them, and then selling the loot. And that's ba that's basically all I've been doing. So I'm, I'm hoping that I'll be able to actually find a couple more raiders around here. I do know there was another party of about 18 in the area. So I wouldn't mind actually finding those, but I have a feeling... Oh, nope, nope, there they are. Oh, 19. Oh, they have 19. Well, this is going to be interesting. Well, there's actually a lot of them. Look at that. Looters, raiders, and... Oh, there's actually another band of raiders, too. There they are. Well, that's okay. They're not willing to gang up on us, which is very nice of them. 
So, yes, yeah, so we have 52 against 19. Now, how many archers do we actually have? Yeah, 16. Not bad. Not bad. So, I think we might decide to use a couple of tactics here because we do have the advantage. I mean, look at this. Look at this amazing height advantage we have. I think it probably is worth it to do so. I don't uh, I currently have a horse, which is kind of sad, but it's okay. It is okay. Let's tell them to charge in, and I'm going to tell them to stand closer as well, the infantry, so that they actually stop. And our archers are going to just destroy them, or at least I hope that will be the case. I haven't really seen them in action, as I say, because I've just been charging in, and they don't really seem to, well, do much. But let's just see how it is against a stronger party, because otherwise I've just been fighting looters, and we know looters are very easy to kill. Now, I am a little bit worried about this, because we have to walk through reeds, and we can't... Oh my, this is very, very dense. I cannot see anything. Well, I'm sure Elias is perfectly fine with this, because that means that he's not going to get killed very easily, is he? I suppose I can use the map. Yes, I can use the map, but the unfortunate thing is we're losing a bunch of our Vale levies, and I would like them to level up into relatively good members of our army, but apparently, yes, apparently we're having some problems with that. Anyway, we do seem to gain a couple of really good units in trade for them, so I suppose it's not all bad, but obviously I would prefer everyone to survive. So there we go, another 13 Vale Archers. That's actually very nice. So yeah, I think now we have a pretty reasonable force for us to, oh yes, Hammermen as well, mm, look at that. Oh, oh yes, they're using pole axes, aren't they? Yes, they're using pole axes. I actually thought to myself, oh no, they're using a halberd and it's not a blunt weapon, but no, no, they are actually using a blunt weapon. It is a two-handed warhammer in actual fact. So that's rather nice, very good, and let's take a look at the stats real fast as well. Oh yeah, they're very nice. I like them a lot. 65 HP for them. And, oh yeah, I, I did take a look at the car hold stats, right? Well, the thing is, is that we've already lost three uh, three of them, or two of them, yeah. We've already lost two of them, and that's, oh, that's a, it's a great shame. And I did actually use tactics in the previous fight, so it's a bit weird, but anyway. Let's see what we can do against the next band. There's so many raiders around here, so I highly recommend if you're playing along with me that this is a really good area. And it's kind of strange because I never thought it would be because there are so many rivers and streams and things. But you can actually use those as a way to kind of ferry them and divert them in the direction that you want them to go in. So that's pretty nice. But obviously they are pretty deadly on the flip side of that because they do have a pretty numerous amount of cavalry units and this is going to be pretty painful for us I think. Can I get them into a shield wall? I think I can probably do that. Yes I can. I have enough to be able to do that and we're going to then be moving our archers as well and we want them to go into ranks. Thank you very much. Okay so let's... oh my this is probably not going to work too well is it? Okay let's tell our cavalry to charge and we do have our hedge knights after all so I think it might be an idea to use that and I'm going to try and use some thrusting attacks as well as some overheads, maybe just to get them off the horse. That's the way to go. Yeah, there we are. Very nice. And we've stopped every single one of them in their tracks, which is exactly what we want to see. Of course, they do have some pretty nice armor as well. And, oh yes, mentioning armor, I am going to try and find some really good chest armor. Apparently someone told me about some really good chest armor in the castle. I think at King's Landing. Was it at King's Landing? I think it was at King's Landing. So we're going to be heading there after I have fought most of the raiders in this area. And then we'll see what we can do. Obviously, there are a couple of places in Dawn that we also want to go to. Because according to you in the comments, there's also some really, really nice male armor to be had from there. And I think that would definitely help out our survival because you know you know Elias his survival is not the greatest anyway there it is that's actually a really nice victory there we lost literally one which is very good and we do get to take a couple of prisoners prisoners are very lucrative and let's see okay so yes now I can just take all of this to sell thank you very much okay so I think it might be a good idea to head onward now and I'm gonna go, um, where am I gonna go first? Well, I suppose I'll go to Fair Market on the way there, just to sell some of our loot. And maybe sell the prisoners. Oh, there's another raider party. I'd like to do some damage to them, but I don't have, oh, I, I do have a, a little bit of money. Uh, okay, some spell, spell, spell swords? Yes, some cell sword spearmen, thank you. 
and Veil Longbowman there, and yeah, as you see, the upgrading takes so much of your money, and my weekly cost is insane right now. Okay, I think I'm probably going to fight these guys. But first, I'd like to show you what I've actually done with our points. I had 10 agility previously, and now I have 12. So I gained a little bit more in that, and I leveled up our Iron Flesh, as you see. We have 58 now, so that's not, no, that's not bad. And what are we going to do otherwise? I think it probably would be a good idea to level up our intelligence a little bit. And from there, I have no clue. I suppose Power Strike and Iron Flesh will be fine. And let's go for a little bit more in throwing weapons as well. I wouldn't mind getting some throwing weapons that are good against shields. But, oh no, they've gone into the forest. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Well, it actually turned out not to be that difficult. So, yes, now the one problem I'm having right now is the fact that our infantry group is so incredibly small that I don't know whether the cavalry is going to take notice of them. But I very much hope they do. Yes, it seems like they are. That's fantastic. Or is it? Because now we're losing so many. Yes, we are. Well, that's not good. Okay, come on, thrust at him. Thrust at him, Elias. Oh, and then we stumble, of course we do. Yes, what else can we do but stumble? Okay, kill him. Kill him, Elias. Yes, oh, well, at least we took him off the horse. No, no. Okay, Th thrust. Oh, look at that. That was painful. That was very, very painful indeed. Okay, if we can deal with the cavalry before the infantry and the archers get here, we should stand a pretty good chance of not losing any more. But as you see, I, I thought that might be a little bit difficult because we weren't on the high ground. The cavalry was running absolutely full speed at us and that was kind of painful. Anyway, let's see what we can do now. And yeah, hopefully I'm not going to get killed. Don't shoot me again, please. Don't shoot me again. Oh, it seems like they were actually listening to me. Fantastic. Well, that's nice. Yes, come on, no. They have daggers. They can't possibly defeat Elias with daggers, can they? Well, maybe a dagger in the back. Hmm. Maybe. Well, yes. There we are. Not too bad. These elite Pentos Man-at-Arms, by the way, they are really, really good. I think I've had this one guy survive every single battle that I've so far been in. And that says a lot, doesn't it? That absolutely says a lot. So, yes, we lost... Quite a few, but that was only due to the fact that they had flat ground and they obviously had a bunch of lances to use. So that was a bit of a shame, but hopefully we're able to gain... Oh, we're able to gain some pretty nice gloves. The main problem with these gloves is that they do reduce our power throw proficiency, but obviously... Well, technically power throw skill, but technically we don't have any, so it doesn't actually matter. So plus 10 to body armor, I'll take it, why not? Maybe I'll sell them, I don't know, but... I think any protection and body armor is kind of worth it. Well, that seems pretty nice to me. 1,700? 1, 1, no, I wish it was 1,700, but it's 1,373 that we're gaining from the loot that we obviously, you know, pilfered from the raiders. So that's, that's not bad. That is not bad. And obviously we are deducting a little bit just for... Ah, ah that's unfortunate. He does not have enough. Oh my, the trials and tribulations of a person that has too much loot to sell. Okay, there we go. And what about the horse? Yes, the horse merchant can take all of that. And we do have three horses in our inventory right now. I have a lame one. I don't have any wound treatment, which is a huge problem. So maybe we should go into the tavern here and take a look and see. Uh, well, we do have a ransom broker. That's nice. Seems like every tavern I go into, there's a ransom broker, which is fantastic, as you can see, from the 1,000 coins that we're going to gain for those five prisoners. Just five prisoners gives us 1,000 coins. That's insane. But other than that, yeah, we're now going to make our way over to King's Landing. I really need to find a medic companion of some sort. Well, there it is. We do have a really nice mercenary payment from Volantis. I don't think we would have been able to sustain this army, and <laughs> I say I don't think because apparently, you know, I'm unsure about that. But no, no, absolutely not unsure whatsoever. We would not ever in a million years be able to sustain this kind of army. So I must be grateful to Volantis for that, and of course to the huge amounts of right to rule skill they're giving me. So yeah, anyway, there it is. We have some earlier debts, obviously, because I didn't have enough money to pay anything. 
and the net change is only minus 153, which is obviously easy as anything to gain from loot, and in general, just fighting something, so that's pretty cool. Harren Hall is being attacked, and Gregor Clegane is actually there, which would be really nice to fight, because, of course, he does have a very, very deadly sword, but... As it stands, he doesn't seem to be capable of fighting. But look at this. Look at the amount of peace and war and all kinds of things that's going on right there. I'd like to fight these outlaws, actually. Do I want to, though? Do I want to fight them? I don't know. But what I do want to do is show you my right to rule. My right to rule is 24. There you go. It is 24. That is absolutely fantastic. And I haven't I haven't done anything. I haven't, I haven't done anything absolutely anything to increase that myself. I haven't sent off any companions, nothing. And I've actually never used this particular technique before in regards to actually gaining right to rule. So that is a pretty amazing technique. And thank you very much for mentioning that in the comments because I never thought of it myself. I thought to myself, mm, yeah, maybe we should join as a mercenary, but I never thought of the benefits apart from the wages. So it's really nice that that is going quite well for us. 39 against 26. This is probably going to be our biggest fight ever against a raider slash outlaw party. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to go for another shield war. Oh, we can't go for another shield war. Well, that's a shame. We only have 10 of them. We only have 10. So let's tell them to stand closer a little bit and obviously tell them to go... Oh, uh, yes, tell them to stumble. Kill that. Oh, I was hoping that I could kill the horse. Oh, I did, but he still got me. Well, that's a shame. Ooh, yes, the car hold longbowmen. They are very deadly. It's just that they cannot be bothered. If they actually are bothered in any way, like if they're attacked, then there is a then there's a bit of a problem, obviously. But yeah, other than that, I think we're pretty good. Now we just need to kill these raider horsemen, make sure that they are all dead, and then we can hopefully get our archers helping us with the infantry. What are the archers doing? They just seem to be attacking us. That's a bad idea, isn't it? As you can see, just absolutely slaughtered before us. Come on, kill them! Kill them! Yes! Yes, there we go. Okay, so, come on, archers. Can you actually do something now? Can you actually shoot for me, please? I would appreciate it very much. There we go. Okay. Seems to be working. Seems to be working. Oh, that guy has a huge two-handed sword. He cannot be allowed to wield it. Yes. <laughs> As you can tell, I probably would be better with a 100% thrusting weapon or a 100% slashing weapon. Because I am... You know, I, I've played this game a lot. And I'm still bad with the combat animations. Like, yes, I can get 100% slashes right now. Or... Uh, if I could speak. 100% thrusts right now. I mean, look at that. My technique is pretty fine. You know, it's absolutely fine. But, in the heat of battle, when I don't want the enemy to attack me easily, I get a little bit flustered. You know, that, that just happens. But, yeah, I kind of do like the weapons that enable you to basically only be able to do this or only be able to do that. So... Maybe I'm going to have to get one of those at some point, but as it stands... Oh, we're actually gaining some really nice armor here. I think I'm going to wear the heavy leather jerkin instead. doesn't give me any more head armor, but it does give me more in terms of body and leg, and that's mostly where we're going to get hit, I suppose. But otherwise, there we go. There's another 318 coins for us, and we'll now head into King's Landing. Now, apparently there is a chest in the castle. There is a quest here for us to do. Which I do know about. I think I did do this quest previously, in the previous series. So, yeah, but the thing with that is that the quest gives you worse armor than the armor that you gain from the chest. So, I'm just gonna really quickly... Yeah, don't mind me. Don't mind me, gold cloaks. I'm, I'm in here for nothing. I'm in here, yes, and I'm not really doing much. Hello. Hello, everyone. Yes, don't mind me. Oh, wow, some very important people here. Yes. Oh my. Okay, so yes, hopefully they won't notice what I'm doing. Where is the chest? There's the Iron Throne. Wow. That looks very uncomfortable. I wonder whether it is actually really uncomfortable to sit on in real life. I think it probably is. Unless you had a pillow or something. I mean, I think a pillow would probably help quite a bit. Don't you think? Well, anyway, where is the chest? Uh, I was told about a chest. I need it. I need it immediately. 
Oh well, maybe I need to. Maybe I maybe I do need to do the quest, or maybe I ah uh, maybe it's not actually even in the castle. Maybe it's actually somewhere else. Anyway, I'm gonna try and find it, and if I can't find it, then I suppose we'll just do the quest anyway. All right, so it seems like I may have found the chest. As you see here, it's off to the side where the blacksmith is, and if you just look around a little bit, you'll no doubt find it. But yeah, it's off in one of these offshoot alleyways. And hopefully this is... Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> well, this is this is good. This is fine. I actually don't mind about it not being the armor because this is, I think, probably even better than that. I could sell this right now for a huge amount of money. Probably about a thousand, maybe two thousand. I don't know. But other than that, it also gains you some leadership, which is going to come in mighty handy. So apparently there's two chests? Is there two chests? Well, whatever the case, I have found one of them, and that's really nice, and actually is going to come in mighty handy later on, when I need a little bit of a boost with our leadership, of course, because I'm actually not going to do it right now. I'm not going to use it at any point really early on, because I have a feeling that we're probably going to need a little bit more leadership as time goes on and as it becomes more difficult to gain points because obviously you know it gets more difficult to level up and everything but am i just looking in the wrong place i think i think probably i am all right so i have not gone into the castle or taking a walk around the streets what i've done is i've gone into the cellars instead and there seems to be a chest here so i'm thinking this is probably going to be it or not no, the chest is not interactable, which is kind of a shame, but yeah, we do get to see some of this at least, which is actually kind of cool. And is that it? Is that is that all that's here? I was hoping that I could maybe talk to someone, but yes, as you can see, it was originally built by Magor the Cruel. And they've, used, they've been used for storage and things. But yeah, I don't think I can actually find this. Apparently, maybe it's been removed. Or maybe I just can't find it. I think probably this was the chest and I just found this book instead. So, yes, I think with that, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and make about 3,500 because I do need that for the for the ironworks. And then I'm probably going to try and get an ironworks in one of our Volantis towns or something along those lines. And so, I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.